This summer, Procreate Dreams released a new roadmap which includes what to expect from version 1.1, the first major update to Procreate Dreams. Starting with some of the most requested features, version 1.1 is making major improvements to the draw and paint mode. Procreate Dreams will finally get selections, including the lasso tool, as well as the ability to transform content within the drawing mode. These features have been the most highly requested features. We will also be getting adjustments, and finally we will be able to cut, copy, and paste in drawing mode. Last, we will be able to merge layers. Next, we have some new updates related to brushes and painting experience. First, brush sliders will gain the much needed size and the opacity memory. They will also be adding per brush stabilization options. Dreams currently has this feature as a global option and preferences. We will also be able to finally have control over fixed versus dynamic scale painting. This would prevent surprises in the resolution as you zoom in to draw just like how it works in Procreate. 1.1 will also include timeline edit improvements. We will be able to drag and drop multiple tracks, content, or keyframes at once. I'm really excited for this update as it was super tedious trying to move content around. It's going to really speed up the workflow. Another great workflow update that Dreams will be getting is a quick method to change movie duration within the timeline, so we won't have to go into the movie settings every time you need to update the duration. They will also be adding Luminous Mask to give users the option of using Luminous instead of the Alpha for Layer Mask. This update will also bring some new features to exporting. The roadmap mentions an advanced export studio, as well as the ability to finally be able to import and export GIFs. I create a lot of animated GIFs, so this will be a really nice addition. 1.1 will also add video transparency, playback, and export. Version 1.1 will also bring improved color space handling with imported videos, as well as customizable keyboard support. Lastly, the team will be making further improvements to their undo and redo experience, which the roadmap says will likely roll out in an earlier release. Procreate Dreams hasn't publicly announced what date they're targeting for version 1.1's release. I personally think they will preview the update and announce the release date at an event. The last updates were announced during Apple's iPad event, so we could see some information as soon as next week. They could also repeat what they did last year and preview the update at InMotion Festival in London in October. Let me know in the comments when you think Procreate Dreams will drop version 1.1. Also, what new feature are you looking forward to the most? Thanks for watching.